Reginald Rose is somebody that you worked with regularly in, in the anthology series and then of course uh, is associated with you most famously in The Defenders, um, which I was surprised to learn you did not do originally in, in what was at first just a single show. Yeah, on Studio One, an mm -hmm. hour show, yeah. Uh, why did they come to you at that point when they wanted to make it a series and were your feelings hurt that you were... No. Um, I was so busy at the time, and maybe they knew I was busy and couldn't do it. Anyway, uh, I didn't feel slighted by it because I was very busy all the time anyway, so it wasn't as though I needed a job. Mm -hmm. I understand, uh, I was reading over the transcript of, your, of the press conference that you did recently when Showtime has relaunched the series as a, as a series of specials that you said that originally that pilot tested badly and that almost never was made into a series. What, what, what is done, you make the pilot and then it's shipped around, uh, CBS financed it, shipped around and it didn't go and the option lapsed. And I was working in a film in Los Angeles and Reggie called me and he said, they picked it up. I said, oh. Now, I was in a position then to, with my agent, my lawyer, to really wham them because they didn't have an option on me. Mm. I could have renegotiated the whole thing, but I didn't want to live in, in Los Angeles. So that wasn't in my mind. What was in mind was getting back, working in New York, you know, where I could live. And how it happened was that uh, the uh, Stanton had this thing that I like it, I don't like it, you know, that. With, and, and so that was scored and you could tell. There were focus groups that yeah, were tested and yeah. people sat with buttons, and is that the idea? They said, wait a minute, is this right? That it tested, they, they said at the time, higher than any other show that had been tested. And what are we missing here? Because it was a different show, you see, and the studio people, the network people, you know, they was Reggie Rose and it had been on uh, Studio One. Well, we got to have shows so maybe this will be one of them, and that's how it happened. Now you talk about Brodkin and Bob, Herb, Herbert Brodkin, yeah. of course, was the producer, and Bob was R Bob Reed, who played your son. Yeah. Was this Herbert Brodkin's concept no. to take it a, into a series? or He had, he wasn't the only pilot he did, and uh, he didn't produce the Studio One, but he was trying to get into television and he had done a thing called Charlie Wilde about a private eye. It was a dumb show. And uh, he got lawyers and agents and uh, presented it to CBS and uh, they took it on the basis of Reggie, mm -hmm. not on the basis of Brodkin. So it wasn't Brodkin's concept at all. He had very little to do with it actually. He had Bob Markell who was a producer and then he had Kenny Utt who was associate producer and uh, and uh, Reggie and the writers. So uh, Brodkin would be off fishing someplace while we were. Yes, no, he had very little to do with the show, frankly. Reggie was the guy, and I must say, uh, I was the guy too, that uh, we worked together very well, that during the course of filming sometime, uh, a scene didn't seem to be working. And I'd get on the phone with Reggie I said, you know, another thing, blah, 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 talk, 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 talk. He said, oh, well, I'll call you right back. <clears throat> and then we'd go on to something else. And then I'd <coughs> get on the phone and he'd read the, what he had written. And I'd scribble it down, write it down like that. And Chester Morris was doing the show. And uh, he was curious about how these things work, you know, because he hadn't worked in, in uh, television, he'd only done films. And so I took the script like this, or I took it back to the set like that, uh, put it down, and we filmed it, and Chester was amazed. At, but since I had talked already with Reggie and I knew something about it, you see, that it was easy for me to memorize it in that short a time.